Hey guys, I'm here for my first trimester review. Um, if you have not seen my pregnancy announcement video, please go check it out. Um, I think it's called, oh yeah, it's boyfriend's reaction to pregnancy test, duh. Um, so I am currently 13 weeks pregnant and I wanted to just get through my trimester, my first trimester, um, as this is my first pregnancy before I started. Um, giving you guys pregnancy updates. So from here on out, um, I have appointments every four weeks up until, I don't remember, uh, but right now my appointments are every four weeks. So I haven't decided quite yet if you guys are going to get a um, monthly update or a weekly update. I will keep you updated on that in my vlogs. Um, but for today, we are going to do a first trimester review. So I had um, tracked everything by the week and somehow, I cannot remember how, but somehow that note got deleted from my phone. So I kind of um, wrote down what I could remember. I'm pretty sure I got it all. So um, if you see me looking down, I have my notes in front of me so I don't forget anything. Um, because pregnancy brain is real. Um, I won't say like you completely forget everything, it's just very, um, all of a sudden there's nothing there. Uh, so forgive me if I have to read from what's on my lap. But um, I have been naturally tracking my cycle um, for three years now, so meaning like not on any birth control or anything like that. So I'm pretty in tune to my body and my cycle. So pretty early on, I just wasn't feeling um, like my period was coming. I just wasn't this my usual PMS week. My um, normal period symptoms weren't really the same. They were there, um, like the bloating and cramping. I mean, that's pretty usual for your period coming. Um, but it was somehow different. And I was having this dull ache in my belly button. Um, which was really weird and one of my friends, her mom actually uh, made the comment that she knew she was pregnant every time when her belly button would ache. She told me that years ago when my best friend was having her babies. Um, so that kind of put the idea there and then the next thing I noticed were my breast. My uh, breast grew an entire cup size before I missed my period. So those two things kind of had me aware. Um, before my missed period. My uh, best friend that I was talking about, my goddaughter's mom's Kaylee. If you have not seen her channel, totally check it out. I'll link it down below. Um, her birthday was coming up, so I took a pregnancy test just to be sure, since I was feeling a little off and it was negative. So um, her birthday, we celebrated her birthday um, July 11th, and that's when I failed a pregnancy test then. and. Then, uh, my officially missed period was July 15th, and I tested two days later, and got a positive. Um, that moment, like I said, I just kind of already knew without knowing for sure. So I was just kind of like, oh shit, <laughs> um, it's real. But from weeks one to four, symptoms um i had dizziness and sometimes that dizziness dizziness had um light nausea like it was never to the point where i felt like i needed to throw up um it was just to the point of um just kind of feeling a little sick uh let's see i had blurred vision that was really weird and kind of with the dizziness was worrying me um i'm prone to headaches anyways uh but i did have more headaches than I would usually have during a PMS period. I had fatigue. Water became like delicious to me. I have the hardest time drinking water. Hydration is something I fight all the time and it was just so easy to take down. It tasted so good. I also had bloating and gas and I'm not a very gassy person for someone who suffers from constipation but it's like as soon as four weeks came I was just the gassiest person ever um, TMI but pregnancy get used to it <laughs> um, the other things that were interesting was joint pain and that also um, was something I wasn't really 
I, I work on a desk, like I type all day. So I was kind of wondering if that was um, carpal tunnel symptoms. But doing my reading and stuff, joint pain can actually be a symptom of early pregnancy. There's also such thing as pregnancy carpal tunnel, which so it means it comes and goes with your pregnancy. Um, I haven't experienced any more issues with my fingers or wrists, so hopefully that stays away because carpal tunnel is no fun. Weeks 5 through 9, the dizziness stopped. Uh, I didn't have any more blur blurred vision. I still had headaches, fatigue, um, gas, my gag reflex, brushing my teeth in the morning, like getting to the back of my teeth. I have my wisdom teeth still, so um, that was kind of annoying for a while um, because I just, you know, brushing your teeth. You get back there, most people pretty much gag anyways, it's natural reflex, but the, the sensitivity of it was more severe. Um, the joint pain and I started to have ligament soreness. That was interesting to me too. I broke my clavicle, I separated, it's permanently separated. Um, maybe 2015 and that started aching. Um, I also had my knees, like the front of my knees, would be sore and um, my pelvic area was a little bit sore and what else? mood swings started I'm still dealing with mood swings and that one is interesting um, and I say that in the fact of like I feel like like a mood swing for me is like I, I the change of mood obviously but like I can kind of like recognize like oh this is a mood swing and so getting out of the mood has been a learning process for me over the um, couple weeks just because who wants to be moody all the time and I did a lot of self development the past couple years and I just don't want to be <laughs> that moody person so it's been interesting compensating for the mood swings. Uh, car sickness, I've never been prone to car sickness or motion sickness and um, Right around five weeks, it just got really, not really bad, because honestly, it's pretty mild for what I know other people to have as car sickness symptoms. For me, I just get a little um, fatigued. The nausea is kind of there. The dizziness is kind of there. Um, it's just kind of uncomfortable. I get hot, and I'm usually a cold person, so um, we'll have the car cooled down, and Jason's turning down the air, and I'm like, please don't turn down the air. And... That's been interesting, but what else? Yep, that's everything 5 through 9, and then 10 through 13, and again, I'm 13 weeks now. I'm still dealing with constipation. I think that one's mostly keeping up with my hydration. Um, the gas is not as bad, thank God. <laughs> and um, we've already talked about the mood swings that's still going on. Headache is there, but again, I think that's associated with um, hydration. So when I do get a headache, I just drink um, a glass or two of water and I might lay down for a little bit. That seems to help a lot. Um, I also, the fatigue is going away, which is really awesome because um, it's just, you don't get a lot done when you work all day and then you come home to sleep. Um, excuse me. Headache. Yeah. And cravings and food aversions, that's one of my most, besides how I'm feeling, that's my uh, most asked question. I really don't have any cravings right now or aversions. Um, I was worried about losing my coffee and I haven't, so I'm thankful for that. And smells. Um, a lot of my coworkers bring fish from time to time for lunch. When I say from time to time, at least one person a week is bringing in salmon or some kind of fish. And that's been tough in the break room because fish stinks. But that hasn't deterred me from like eating fish myself. So, yeah, I'm. When cravings come, I'm excited. <laughs> to know what I'll crave or what I, um, what aversions I have, but so far nothing. Um, I'm definitely feel very, very blessed. My first trimester was not full of morning sickness. Um, for the most part, I was pretty much my normal self. I exercised, um, in the beginning. I kind of fell off on exercising, um, 
probably mid week nine, um, definitely by 10. I was sleeping a lot and just not motivated. Um, it's been raining a lot, it's hurricane season in Florida. So um, that's something I plan on getting back into because it does help with the energy levels and I'm sure that it'll help with my moods. So I am going to, um, I've got to readjust the camera, but I'm going to show you guys my belly and I am going to insert pictures that I've taken. I took pictures monthly um, for the first trimester and then going forward, I'm going to actually measure myself from here on out weekly and I'll just put, if I do it every month, I'll just put like a four week compilation in the end of my videos. If I do do a weekly, then you'll see them um, weekly. So comment down below. I'm sorry for saying um so much. It bothers me and I know this record, the editing this is going to be um, a pain for me. I will get better. It's just, and if I talk too fast, let me know as well. I'm trying to not make this video too long. So I wanted to get it all out at once. So, um, I'm going to show you guys with the view of the belly with a shirt on, and then I'll lift my shirt and show you it without. Um, so yeah, this is the front view. I don't think I've really started showing yet. I looked at my pictures, and with the shirt on, like I said, I don't think I'm showing at all. But with this shirt up, um, I'll try to circle the area. This area here is I think I'm showing and when you see the pictures you'll see I mean this part so just so you guys know what you're looking at this part is just me um, not the most toned these days but it's this area I'm trying to like right here it's just from here to here and I would say it's like I don't know maybe this much difference in like the video progression so I know what I'm saying now doesn't quite make sense but definitely watch the video progression or the picture however I get the pictures to show and then maybe come back to this commentary so now I'll measure <sighs> I'm bloated so that was that deep breath that's what that was for I'm not sure if you guys have had babies before let me know the best place to measure I'm gonna do my belly button um, and if you had babies before let me know when you had to take your belly button ring out um, I'm hoping to keep mine as much as long as possible let me just do this again because I don't know if I'm over my belly button ring okay so we'll say 35 and a half I measured my belly before the month before I got pregnant. Come back down. My flat tummy to you review. I haven't seen it. Go see it. Um, but in that review, I believe my waist section was 31 or 32 inches. So I've gained three inches in my mid region um, since becoming pregnant. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and make these videos um, easier to watch if they were hard. I know the ums are gonna be terrible for me. And the shirt here, if you have not, if you um, like the shirt, my friend makes these shirts, so I will link her information in the description box below as well. Um, she also has a channel you can check out. Um, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to follow my pregnancy, and um, I will also be vlogging. And thanks for watching.